Okay, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm not going to be doing a trade for Kevin Durant. I was go I was going through some possible trade scenarios. It would be get we would be giving up way too much. I know Kevin Durant is like the best best like cheese player in this game, which is like the most overpowered player in the game. But I don't have to be giving up Derek Favors, Paul George, and freaking Adrian Payne, which Favors I kind of want want to keep since he's base him and Dante Axum and Trey Burke are the only guys that are still oh, and Steve Novak that are still on the roster, and because he is our best player and he's only twenty five, so then Adrian Payne like I would have had nobody to back back him up, and Paul George. Again, nobody would really. Oh, of course, I'm um, freaking. Katie would have played for him, but no, I didn't really think think it made sense right now. Maybe after this year, if we win a championship, then I can blow up the roster. But I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. And also, this might be the last season I do until I win a championship. So I don't know. Make sure you guys let me know if you want me to do. If you want me to continue on the series to go until. 2K16, which I heard that, I heard that, uh, I don't know if it's true, but I think that online franchise or online my GM or something, something of that nature is going to be added. So I, I've been talking with uh, my man RTT Roast at Toast. Yeah, um, he's been asking me for a while. Let me give him a shout out. So I'm giving him a shout out now. Shout out to him. I finally passed with subscribers and, um, it's been nice. So I again back to my point. I was talking to him about possibly me and him collabing and doing an online a co op my GM or something like that. So I think that would be really, really cool if that if that's actually a thing. So make sure you guys keep me updated. My my Twitter's in the description. If you guys have any information about what is going to be coming on to 2K16, make sure you just hit me up in there. And if you guys just wanna. Have a quick conversation with me. Just hit me up on the Twitter, and yeah, we can we can talk and yeah. So this is why I don't want to go to get rid of Derek Favors. Thirteen points, fifteen rebounds, two assists, three steals, and two blocks. Enough said. Uh, prove them wrong, because I don't know why our fans don't have faith in us. We obviously have the best team in the league. Like, if are we first in the power rankings? If we're not, then. Something has to be wrong. Okay. Who do they? Oh, yeah, they have Kyrie, Justin Holiday, LeBron, Kevin Love, and Rudy Gobert. I don't know why I traded Gobert. I honestly don't. You know, to be honest, this team's actually not that bad. Yeah, the team's not that. The team's actually good. But we have so, so much you know, bench. But more bench, yeah. Um, yeah. So, whatever. So just look at this team. Just take a gander. Derek Favors is twenty-five. He's a ninety-four. Paul George is a ninety-three. Dante Exum is an eighty-nine in his in year two. So let that sink in. Well, I mean, Clyde Barber is an eighty-eight in year one. I mean, that's... Uh, Trey Burke, we got an 87. Well, Wally... I call him like Wally Colley Stein or something. Wait, no. Dante, this isn't his second year. What am I talking about? This is like his third or fourth. Yeah, I'm just... I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, then we've got Sam Francis at 62. Getting up there. Um, I think I'm going to re-sign both these guys, but not Novak. I'm just gonna try and get Novak that ring. Alright. We take that take that L to the Grizz, the Memphis Grizzlies. And also tell me, who do you guys want to win the NBA Finals? I know the uh the Cavaliers just made it. And the Warriors are most likely gonna make it, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself because the Rockets came back 3-1 on my Clippers, which would be weird if that happened again, but to be honest, I want the uh, I want the Warriors to win it all. Oh shit! Ooh, yeah, I was trying to hold back swearing there, but I don't know. 
Harden scored 49. That's why we lost. Uh, Paul George is just a salty little guy. Yeah, Paul Gasol doesn't even get any playing time, does he? No. Yeah, Paul George gets so so aggravated so easily. We're 98 overall team. Let's take a look at the uh, mock drafts. Do we have any picks? We do. We're supposed to get Rex Newsom. Nothing. All right. Uh is he even like Rex Newsom? There he is. So yeah, he's. This guy's pretty. Ugh. Euros Galab from Slovenia. Rex Newsom. Like, oh right, yeah, let's take a look. Look at the scouting report because that's who we're predicting to get. Is capable of making long range shots in traffic. Produces well with the ball in his hands. Questionable basketball IQ and court awareness when on defense. Below, below average court vision hurts otherwise fair repertoire. Haven't uncovered any medical concerns for this prospect. What about some of the guys that we've actually like scouted? Like this guy, Alan Watkins. No, he's six nine. He's a six nine center. He's an 80 overall, though. Jim Posey. Yeah, what about Reggie Romero? No significant strengths. Oh, he's a 56 overall. So, no. Gus Rooks is a 66 overall. Very bad at creating his own shot. Very limited range. Should never take mid range shots. Okay, so these guys seem pretty bad. What about, what about this guy, Fred West? Small forward, power forward. Can depend on him to drive on the basket, drive to the basket store. Can expect his game to grow a lot as he matures. Very mobile player who uses his size to his advantage. Small forward slash power forward, huh? We don't really have a backup small forward except for Kent Bazemore. We could potentially try and trade for him. But so let's take it the uh, take a look at the uh yeah I I'm kind of relentless with the series now like I really don't care if it's realistic or not so I'm gonna try and get the heat pick wow okay so we would have to give up You know, I'm just going to call up with this deal, but I don't think I'm going to do that. However, I think that... Uh, would that be a good trade? No, we wouldn't. Along, well, if we were getting a point guard. But wait, we have uh, we have this guy down here. Ryan Boatwright as our backup point guard. I mean, he's actually pretty... He's actually kind of a beast. But preferably, I'd like to get a point guard in return. Norris Cole? Nah. Joseph Young, I don't even know who this is. Oh yeah, he's the guy from Oregon. Right. Yeah, and throwing a guy with a big salary. Jason Thompson. Now throwing absolute trash. Like Dante Morris. Like he's one and a half stars. I'll I'll do this trade. Nothing. No picks. Uh I don't know if I want to do this. I mean, we could turn this into a pretty. I kind of like. Kind of want to keep Joseph Young. We're just, we're gonna release Jason Thompson, I think. He's only twenty four, but he is our backup point guard. So, you know what? We we could actually bring him back in free agency, but I don't know. So. He's been with us this entire series, but I did it. Oh, what? No. 
Oh yeah, I gotta do the pop up draft pitch. I trade. Uh, I just traded Trey Burke. I just traded Trey Burke to the Heat for a for a first round pick or for a good pick. Here it is. So Joseph Young. What are his stats? So oh yeah, instantly okay. I, I feel a lot better about myself. Yeah, this guy's a beast. This guy's an absolute beast. Joseph Young is a tank. Yeah. Okay, so I feel yeah, I feel a lot better now. Um not at all. Right? Yes. Harvey Baxter is very happy with us. So I had no idea that he was that amazing of a shooter. I mean Trey Burke had had that ninety nine shot three. But to be honest, we can easily get this. We can easily get Joseph Young to be at that level. Um, I'm gonna make him a primary shooting or a primary point guard, shooting guard. Ah, oh, he went down. To be honest, I kind of want to get him. Yeah, I kind of want him to. Uh, Get minutes. Does he have the best shot three? He does. Well, it was tied with Bazemore. Bazemore's a 95. Dang. Um, Jason Thompson, can I release him? Yes, please. I would love to. I'm going to take one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and give them all to Joseph Young. Mm. There. Let's simulate this game and see how see how he does. I mean, yeah, I, I had absolutely no idea that he was that, that, that he was that good of a shooter. Yeah, because he can easily take the roles to back up Trey Burke. Because I think he Burke was more of a passer, and, more of a passer, and it, obviously Joseph Young's more of a scorer. So yeah, he's got like ninety four mid, ninety five three. I'm pretty happy with that acquisition, and we get a amazing draft pick. So, yeah, we get we get an amazing draft pick in the making. So yeah, that also helps the cause. So I think that was actually an amazing trade. Um, not amazing, but it was definitely not bad. You guys can agree with me on that one, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh. So Trey Burke was he made it to the final three. And he is finally gone. See Joseph Young is pleased. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. It was kinda short, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.